All right, so it's uh, 8 a.m. Um, I'm assuming you can all hear me because my mic is open. So we will make this morning's channel functional update actually pretty short. It's only been four weeks since my last uh, functional update because of some channel changes. Normally it's six weeks, um, so there isn't as much to report. Uh, but we'll go, we'll go through and, and talk about what has happened. Um, we've added three new resellers in the last four weeks. Um, Amirasoft, which is an Italian-based ALM and DevOps consulting company. Uh, they've already brought us two customers, uh, a customer called CNH, a customer called Kobo. Uh, they actually did both of those before they signed as a reseller. Um, so that was uh, quite cool. Um, the second reseller that we added is a South American company called Soporte Libre. Uh, they, uh, their headquarters are actually in Ecuador. Um, but they serve a market that spans the Andes. Um, so there's a free trade area down there called Comunidad Andina, um, with the biggest economy of which is in Colombia. Um, so uh, they're looking forward to selling in, in Colombia, Peru, Ecuador, and Bolivia. Um, next on the list is we finally now have a Japanese reseller. Uh, the Japanese reseller is called Creation Line. They're not really a traditional style Japanese product reseller. They're more of a, a DevOps transformation specialist, um, but at least it gives us some local representation in the largest market in Asia, uh, the largest economy in Asia. Um, so that should be quite good. The uh, principal there is actually French, believe it or not. Um, but the uh, all of the employees are Japanese and he's lived in Japan for quite some time. Yeah. Um, Jacob, your mic is open. Ha, ah, so in addition to signing three new resellers uh, in the last month, um, Xiao Gang has been working diligently on moving our resellers through a badging program to uh, uh, certify their technical expertise. Uh, so the version one of the badging program is nearing completion. If you want more details on what the badging program is, there's the link to the issue there. Um, he's getting rave reviews from the participants. Um, as a matter of fact, uh, it, we invited uh, only five of the resellers to, to attend in the initial um, run through of the, of the program and uh, almost all of them have asked to have additional um, uh, employees go through the badging program because they found enough value out of it. Uh, five of the six modules that he has put together have been completed by all the participants. And the last bit that they have to do is submit merge requests to our open source product. Um, it, uh, Sitsi found uh, or, or felt that it was important that they f contribute to our project. Um, it also gives a great uh, sense of value to them when they could tell the customers that not only are they experts on GitLab, they helped write it. Um, and so that's moving along swimmingly. Um, what you see below is a really ugly mock-up of a logo. Luke is actually designing something totally awesome. Um, you can see if he posts his preview on what he's done, it's in, in, that, in that link down below. So uh, concerns and challenges, things that aren't going right, um, uh, is a we've got a, a lot of lack of resources. Um, ever since Stefan's departure back in January, um, not a whole lot has gone on for marketing enablement for the, uh, for the channels, nothing has. Um, we have not had a channel newsletter since December. Um, the channel newsletter is where the resellers learned about all the events and other things that we were doing, um, and now they don't. Um, we really need to get that back online. Um, most of the channel still has not had any press releases. There's been no channel launch events. Um, and most uh, uh, frustratingly is a lot of times the channel has, has some marketing requests, things that they want. And by, because there's no one who owns those requests, by the time we get around to responding to them, it is too late. Um, and so those are the things that need to be addressed. Um, in addition, sales enablement is not keeping pace with the growth of our channel. We currently have 17 channel partners and it's and counting, so we're, we're growing quite quickly. Um, we don't have any formal partner sales training program in place. Um, right now, I point them at what our regular salespeople have for trainings, but a lot of that is GitLab proprietary process rather than channel process or, or what have you. The sales messaging and things are, are fine, but it needs to, it, it, that needs to be changed and, and tweaked. Um, we, we also don't have, um, between all the other things that I'm doing with direct uh, sales in, in Asia, as well as trying to get the infrastructure in place for the channel, 
Um, my ability to manage the pipeline for 17 channel partners uh, is pretty low, uh, as well as being able to support them on, on their end opportunities. We're doing the, doing the best we can. I'm hoping for a headcount resource to help alleviate some of that problem. And moving forward with our plans uh, um, for the rest of the year, um, we've got some contracts presented to several uh, additional resellers, uh, a Taiwanese-based DevTools reseller, uh, someone who I've worked with for the last decade uh, that should be pretty good if we get them on board. Uh, there's also a German-based ALM vendor. Um, I'm not giving out any names of who they are at the moment because we have NDAs with each of these um, each of these. Uh, companies. Uh, the German-based ALM vendor is actually going to embed GitLab in their products, so they're going to be like a traditional OEM, which should be quite good. Um, and the most sort of exciting one is just that we've got a globally-based systems integrated with over a thousand consultants ready to go and perform GitLab work. They have, uh, even though they are global, they do have a North American focus. The vast majority of their customers are North America, um, and this should really help uh, move some things forward. Uh, that same SI also has a group within it that is building a githost.io analog. So what they're hoping to do is to be able to run and sell managed hosted single tenant GitLab um, to a wide variety of customers. It's, it's not planned to be turnkey, sign up with a credit card, pay by the month like GitHost was, but it's uh, they're, they're looking for forward to building a bunch of um, uh, turnkey pieces into it so that there's less management on their part. Um, and hopefully that will come online before the end of next quarter, which would be really exciting. Um, and we have an additional federal reseller that we're talking to. So after that, there's going to be a slowdown of adding new channel partners until the infrastructure can catch up. This, as you saw in the challenges slide previously, that we were behind on a bunch of things and we're not able to service as well as I would like the resellers that we have currently. All right, so that is uh, the end of my slideshow. Um, I have some questions here. Uh, thank you for waiting till 8 p.m. to start. 8 a.m. I think you meant, sure. Uh, way to go, Zhao Gang. Thank you, Molly. Uh, from Reb, what will that hosting provider, will that hosting provider provide multi-server environments? Um, that's a good question, Reb. Um, I don't know. I'm assuming you mean you're, you're talking about uh, uh, using Geo and have servers in multiple locations. Um, I'm sure that'd be something they'd be interested in doing. They make their money on on doing lots of customizations and and implementation work, and to them that would just be a special kind of implementation. They probably love to take it on. Um, Jim, how's it going with Catino? I'm not talking about particular prospects at the moment, Jim. I have NDAs with all of them, so I can't really go into details about them, um, about an individual prospect. I can talk about resellers we've signed. Uh, Reb says H-A-D-R, et cetera. Yeah, indeed, Reb, that's uh, what uh, uh, that particular reseller is looking to hope to be able to do. So uh, if there are no more questions, I think this may be a record, 10 minutes. Give everyone 20 minutes back of their day. <laughs>